What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to look at database messages with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at database messages. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps out the channel. And check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so moving right along in our database course here, we have our database. We can go to the join page and we can join. But when we fill this out and click the button, it just redirects to this page and the form just sort of disappears. All the stuff that we've put into it just disappears and we don't know what happened. Was it successful? Did it get added? Then if we go back to our main page and hit reload, we see the new record gets, it has been added. But that's not great. We want to be able to be sure when we do it. So we want somebody to be able to, be able to fill out this form, click the button, and then have a little message popped up, pop up saying your record has been added or your membership has been added or some message of some sort. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. And I think we'll actually redirect back to the home page with a message. And uh, I think that'll just be better. So Django comes with a system of messages, a messaging system built into it. We just have to sort of uh, tap into it and start using it. And it's actually pretty easy. So we can head back over to sublime text. And in our views.py file, we just need to reference uh, that message system. So up here, we got to import it, right? So from, and this is in Django dot contrib. We want to import messages, right? So now we can use messages in our views and we want to use this here in our join section. So let's look through our join thing. If the request, here's our posts stuff, right? So if somebody posts, we first, we validate the form role. Well, first we grab all the information that they put, that they typed in, slap it into this form variable. Then we validate it to make sure it's valid. If it's valid, it will return us to this home, or to this join page. So let's change this right off the back. Let's change this to, we want to send this to home.html uh, instead of join.html. Oh, so we'll redirect back to our home page. And we want to now add a little, a little message that we can reference. So let's go messages.success. So this is, you know, if everything was a success, we want to uh, pass in our request. And then we can just put in whatever we want to say. Let's say uh, uh, your form has been submitted, if I could type, <laughs> successfully. Is that how you spell successfully? There we go, right? So that's all we have to do here. Now this message will be created. And when we render this page, uh, we can access this. So. All we have to do now is put some code on our home page or any page really where we want our messages to go. Now we can put this on every page, our home page, our, our join page, etc. But we you know, a few videos ago we set up this base.html that will uh, you know put stuff on every page of our site. So we're gonna do this right here. So this is gonna be right here in our body section. And let's just put it right at the top here. And all we need to do is go, let's see, some Django text. So we go if messages. So if there is a message, and I'm just gonna go ahead and end our if right now, because it's always a good habit to end ifs right at the start. So if there is messages, right, we need to loop through the messages and print them all, all out onto the screen. Now there's only gonna be one message, so we only have to, you know, it only loop through once, but we still have to, that's how you do this, you use a loop. So we're gonna use a for loop. So we're gonna go for message in messages, uh, spell that right, messages, right? And then we just need to print out the message, right? And it's a, it's a variable, so it's message. We just designated right here, right? And that's it. So now we need to end our for loop. Probably should have done that at the beginning, but end for. And that's all we have to do. Now this will just spit the thing out onto the screen. And let's take a look at this to make sure this worked. Uh, it's not gonna be formatted, we'll format it next. But let's just run our thing and see. So first name, uh, Tim Elder, he's 103, 
It's Tim at elder.com and his password is password one, two, three, four, something. Sign up. Boom. Now it says your form has been submitted successfully and we have our member database, but it's still pointing to the join page, even though it, it kind of put out the home.html stuff. So we've got a couple of different problems we need to fix here. So one way we can get around this fairly easily is instead of, let's go back to our views.py file, instead of sending a render request here and pointing it at home.html, we can do a redirect. So all we do here is change this to return, redirect, and then where do we wanna send this? We wanna send this home. Okay, so now we have to add redirect. So up here, we just wanna import render and we wanna re import redirect. All right, so let's go ahead and save this and head back over to our site. And yeah, Tim Elder's been added. So now if we go back to our join page, and let's add uh, Sally Elder, I don't know, she's 102 because the elders are apparently all very old. Sally out elder.com and something for a password. Now we click sign up, boom, it redirects us back to our homepage. Sally Elder has been added and we get this thing up here. Your form has been su submitted successfully, right? So we're almost there, but now this is not a great message, right? You know, we need some style here. So we can go over to Bootstrap. And in fact, I'll start at the beginning here. Go to getbootstrap.com, click on documentations and then components. And right here at the top, we have these alert boxes. So we could just copy this code and, uh, and use it and it'll do all the work for us. But scroll down here to dismissing. We wanna be able to click this little button to dismiss this. So in this case, we need this bit of code. So I'm just gonna copy this and head back over to our base.html. And inside of our messages loop where the for loop is, I'm just gonna paste all that in and let's move this over. Okay, so now here's our message itself. So let's copy this and we need to put this where the message goes here, which looks like it's right here. Uh, so that looks like it'll work. Now here, let's see, let's change this div container to uh, hold all of this stuff too. So let's just, let's just do this. And I think I also want a line break at the top of the page. So I'll just add that. So, okay, so now it looks like this should work. Let's go ahead and save this and head back to our site here. And now let's go to join again. And who do we want now? We want uh, Brian Elder, <laughs> who's uh, 109 apparently and b at elder.com and there's his password. So sign up now and boom, we get this, your form has been submitted successfully box. Brian Elder has been added. We can click the thing and it disappears. Very, very cool and uh, pretty simple. So that is how to add messages very quickly. Now we've had some trouble in the past with our form when it's not valid. Let's go to our views. And if our form is valid, we wanna save it. We can go else, messages.success, uh, request, and then let's say, there was an error in your form. Please try again, dot, 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 right? And now we can redirect if we want. We want to just redirect. Let's try it both ways and see how it goes. So let's redirect to join because we want to be on the same page still, right? So let's save this and let's come back here and let's check out our join page. Now this probably isn't going to work. So let's try uh, Jason and then Jason at elder.com. And then we didn't do anything else. So sign up. There was an error in your form. Please try again but our things haven't been passed, right? So that's not ideal. Now, if we go back to our homepage and look and hit reload, there is no JSON that's been added because we had this error. So now let's try it with the redirect thing or without the redirect thing. Instead, let's use our old render request. So instead of this redirect, I'm just gonna comment this out. Instead, let's just have it like this and let's save it and see what happens. So now if we come back, this, let's go back to our page here. 
And again, let's try Jason. Don't know last name, no age. Jason at elder.com, no password. Now, if we click sign up, we also get there is an error in your form. Please try again. And this is still blank. But we can now tweak this a little bit more in order to have these fields filled out, right? So but here in our else, we can grab all the variables and pass them back to the page and then put them on the page. So for instance, we can go f name equals request dot post, and then we can just pass in f name. So let's save this, or let's copy one, two, three, four, five. I think there's five of them. Uh, then there was L name, and that was L name. And then we had age, right? And that was age. And then what was the other one? Email. Email. And then finally, the last one was password, right? Password. So we can now pass each of these things into our context dictionary, right? So let's go F name, and that's going to be F name. And let me put these on multiple lines so it's easy to read. L name, and that's going to be L name. Then what else? Age, and that's going to be age. And then email, and that's going to be email. Bear with me. Almost done. Password, and that's going to be password. All right. And I'll put a comma just for good measure. So now, whatever they filled out in the form will be passed back to that page. Now we can reference those using Django variables on our forms dot, or on our uh, join.html page. So we just need to come down to our post, our form here find each section. So first name equals name. And now we can just go uh, value equals, and then pass in, for instance, F name. So let's just do one of these to make sure this works. So if we save this, come back here, let's uh, reload our join page. So we're going to do Jason last name blank blank. Uh, mail is going to be Jace at email dot com, whatever password. Now, if we click this button, boom, we get this error. And now Jason is sitting in the first name field again. So that worked. Now let's just go through here real quick and add the rest of these. So I'm just going to copy this. So for this one, this is the last name one. So we can go L name here. This one is the age one. So let's go age here. This one is the email one. So let's go email. And this one is the password one. So let's go password. Now we may want want to change this one. So let's save this and, and take a look. So let's go back. Let's try this one more time. So let's put Jason. Let's not put a last name. Let's put his age as 41. Email is jace at email.com. And for password, I'm going to type pass one, two, three. So now if we click this form, we haven't filled it out. So it's not valid. So we get an error. Hey, there was an error with your form. Please try again. Jason is listed. No last name listed. 41 is listed for age. Our email is correct. And our password is listed. And it's also got the dots. So that's kind of cool, right? Now we could leave it like this, or we could not put password on there. It's up to you. Sometimes when you resubmit a form, they want you to type your password again, just sort of as a security thing. So we might leave password off of there, or you might not, uh, whichever way it, it works. So now we have a fully functioning form that truly validates. And if somebody leaves something off of the form that we want them to type, it will get redirected back to that home, that same page, whatever they typed into the form will get passed in our context dictionary as now variables that we can reference on our join.html page just by calling these Django variable things like we always would if we were passing data through context variables or context dictionaries, and we're good, good to go. So that is a couple of different ways to use messages. One way to, to validate our form, obviously, another way to just pass messages uh, for success. When a form is filled out correctly, we redirect to the homepage and say, hey, it was you know su successfully added, you're good to go. So very cool. 
and uh, not too hard. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really, really helps the channel and I super appreciate. And check out CodyMe.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDF versions of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 85,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodyMe.com and we'll see you in the next video.